start with pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you everybody for coming. And move to the approval of the agenda. Make a motion that we approve the agenda we have in front of us. I'll second. It's been <coughs> seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries approval of the minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Approval of claims for payment. Make a motion to approve claims of payment. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, <coughs> Well, we got 1002, so I'll go ahead and open the public hearing on the animal feeding operation construction permit, Bob Shager site, section 27 of Alden Township. Any comments? Hey. I can, if you'd like, I can give just a quick overview. Uh, I'm Kent Krause with Pinnacle, and we prepared the uh, permit and do the manure plan on this site. Uh, this site was originally built in the early 90s as a uh, 2,000 head site. Uh, it had one building added to it in 1995 that brought it up to uh, a 3,000 head site. Um, there hasn't been any head expansion to it since 1995. There hasn't been any new construction uh, since then either. Um, what we're doing is just uh, it's kind of a paperwork expansion where we're adding 300 head to the manure plan and the integrator just wants to make sure that they're never put in a position if, if the truck doesn't come in with exactly 3,000 head that they're out of compliance. So it's primarily just a little margin of error, a little safety margin. They want to oversize that site by 300 head. So uh, there's no master <coughs> matrix required on a site of that age. Um, unless you get over 4,167 head. We're only going to 3,300 head, so we stay underneath that. Um, all the land in the manure plan would be uh, uh, owned and rented by the uh, uh, Shager family. Uh, and like I say, there's no, no new construction going on on the site, so. Any other comments? Any written comments? Hearing no other comments, I'll go ahead and close the public hearing and move to number seven, which is recommendation of animal feed and operation construction permit, Bob Shager site. It's met all the UNR requirements, and uh, so I'll make a motion to give our recommendation on the animal feeding operation construction permit for the Bob Shager site. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number eight, amendment to <coughs> wage works, flexible spending carryover. And this is all we're doing is allowing the carryover of our flexible plan to continue out for $500 throughout the full year, correct? And right now we can do it for three months currently. No, actually, what happens is at the end of the year, if you haven't spent your flex dollars by December 31st, it's a lose it situation. And then you have 90 days after the end of that year to enter in claims for that year. This is a little <coughs> bit different because it, is, it extends it for a year to not only submit claims for that previous year, but also you can incur new claims in that next year to use up money that you didn't use in the previous year. So you have $500 that you can add to your current year because you just didn't spend it the previous year. If that's clear as mud. That's yeah, very clear. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's so a pretty good deal. It's a, new, it's a new change and um, the <laughs> IRS changed the rules on it and allowed people to make this change 
and when we migrated to wage works which we're doing right now to administer our flex benefits they asked us why we didn't implement that because it's a great benefit to your employees mm -hmm. so we went ahead and did that there's no cost of care to the county or anything no in doing it's this. the same it's plan whether yeah. you opt to do this or not it's just whether you tell your employees sorry you lose or mm -hmm. whether you give them five hundred dollars to carry over carry over multiple pur purposes I mean if you have some major surgeries that's going to cost you out of your pocket more of that following you can mm -hmm. plan ahead uh, for people like me who wait to the last second and have to get a pair of glasses or something right. to <laughs> utilize right. the rest of the money right uh, instead of running in in December and ordering up a bunch of glasses you can actually not worry yes. about it now and take it the whole next year nice deal so. all right I go ahead and make that motion in to approve the amendment to the wage works um, flexible um, spending carryover. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Consideration action on utility easement on rail trail. I want to introduce Phil Spore. He's with, I believe, ITC. ITC yep. Yep. <coughs> and he is going to talk to you about the easement that I brought to you, I believe, two weeks ago. Um, but it's better to have him <coughs> in person, so I'll let him talk. Hi, guys. Thanks for your time. I've been here by you guys in the, in the past on another trail going, or another line going up to uh, Iowa Falls from here. This, this line is over in Marshalltown, <coughs> and it's on the trail that's currently owned by Hardin County. And we know in the future it's going to be owned by Marshalltown, I believe, mm -hmm. is the plan anyway. Uh, we are currently working on that line. It is an existing line. We have poles along there now. There, and I have a picture here. <clears throat> there will be one more pole replacing a wooden pole right along the road, and it is still about the same distance from the trail. So that won't be an issue as far as the trail accessibility goes. Uh, the reason we need to get this done, we need to do work on the line, and we don't, we'd rather not wait until it's in Marshall. Marshalltown's name, if it's possible to do it now, we'd like to do it now so we can get out there and get that work done. And that's why I'm here talking to you guys. Uh, again, I have a picture you can sure look at if you want to, but the pole <clears throat> will be about the same location, just a little closer to the road, but the same distance from the trail as it is now. And this pole will go away, and that pole will be put in place. What are we going to be doing? Uh, this is a 69 kV rebuild, which is our small size transmission line. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I'm trying to think of what else is important. We're asking for a 50 foot easement through there. You guys own, the, pardon me, the trail, currently you guys own the center of the road and that's why I'm here talking to you. If, it was, if you didn't, if you just own to the edge of the road, we wouldn't need that much. We're asking, we're going to pay you for the center of the road <clears throat> for the easement itself. That's what we're asking for. Does that make sense or is there a question? With, with this easement, uh, putting a pole that close to the road, is that going to cause a problem for drivers or anything else? It's not going to be on the road. It's going to be on the uh, off the edge of the road. Where it's going to be, yeah, off the edge of the road. Right. Yeah, it looks. This is kind of deceiving the way it looks. The way it looks here, but the, you know, this is like the shoulder of the road here, and it's off the shoulder of the road. And this is a representation of where it's going to be. It's not there yet. So would that be a conflict if you got bikers there and them getting hit as well? Visual. Well, this is the trail over here. Right, and yeah. they'll be crossing the road right there where the pole is. Yeah. I, the city of Marshtown, I think, I think was, is okay with the idea they told you, or is that? Oh, I know. I have oh, not okay. spoken to them. Oh, I, I, I thought, was at the super committee. Oh, you're at the super committee meeting. Yes. Okay, yeah. The, so their questions, <coughs> um, yeah. well, it, it would be good if you presented to them also, but okay. uh, yeah. um, yeah, that's really their cool. questions were if there was any damage to the trail at all after the trail was put in, if you had to come in and fix anything, uh, if you would get it back to its original state. Yes. We have a dam damage policy that's in the documents that states exactly what we'll do. Any damage that we do by state law has to be replaced by us, it has to be fixed. And we want to get this done before the trail is finished, obviously. That's what that, the plan yeah. is. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Do you do utilities under the road as, or under the trail as well? or? No, we're above ground. They're just all above ground. We're strictly <laughs> transmission line company, and everything's above ground. The only thing in the ground is the pole. Okay. That was my, or like Lance said, that was one of my concerns last time when we looked at it was if you're coming here with a bike and you're looking left, that that post didn't somehow, because bikers are notorious not for stopping at the street, so if they're lined up with a car right there, mm -hmm. if a car would pop up from behind that post at all, but um, it's kind of hard to tell by that picture, you know, just exactly how that would be. Sure. So that sure. was 
pretty much my only concern with that. Where if it was set back where the old pole was, then you'd have a little more line of, you know, you, the road would open up a little quicker for you as you came up to that intersection, so. I'm not sure, there must be, a, generally there's a reason. And again, this is a representation, so they may have put this here. Uh, yeah. The pole, a lot of times, ends up at pretty, pretty much the same spot. So That's what I was wondering. Show it's There's not quite a gap there pole. in that picture. It's they like want to show you a different pole. You know what I mean? So you can see what we're going to do. The older pole is coming out as well as the uh, railroad crossing sign? That's not our department, obviously, but I'm assuming I, it will. I understand. Uh, uh, at, actually, at this point, the salvage should have that out of there by okay. now. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if it is. The picture was taken when? Um, it's back in July. Yeah, so that should be out of there. Oh, but it says in, 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 in 9.13. So, yeah, I don't know, it may, it may be out of by now. But again, that's part of the issue. They're, they're wanting to wait, I think, until that's all done, and yeah. we'd rather be able to get out there and get to work. Yeah. So. Well, now's the time to do it before that trail gets yeah. locked off or anything. I can sure share those concerns and, and find out if this pole, I'm using the picture they sent me, but if this pole right. is going to be in the same place, if they're just showing you, hey, this is a different pole we're going to use, so you can see mm -hmm. the difference. Because mm -hmm. to me, we never go that close to the road. That's the pole. It's just yeah. something we don't do. Yeah. My assumption is it's probably going to be in, in pretty much the same spot, but they want to show the pole is going to be changing. You know, the, the design of the pole. It's going to be a steel mm -hmm. in bed pole. Okay. In bed, direct in bed pole. Is mm -hmm. really that, like I said, that was my biggest concern. If you clumped in, or if you stop at you know, the stopping points, right in, if that post is right in line where you look, then you got to move out. And if your front tire is now on the highway before you can actually see yeah. what's coming down the highway, that's not as safe for kids or anything. So. And, I, and I wonder if part of it, well, who knows what, they, what they're thinking is, but hopefully they're watching down here, you know, as they come up to the, to the, mm -hmm. to the street and, mm -hmm. and watching the, to the left and right before the, before the pole gets mm -hmm. there too. But, yeah. Would the uh, city streets or anything have any problems Again, you're representing that that close, but if they had any concerns, would you guys still work with them for utilities or anything else? Absolutely. Yeah, we always work with the put city. Yeah. And again, the, mm -hmm. only, the main reason I'm here talking to you guys is because on that side of the road, the west side of the road there, you own to the center of the road, the trail mm -hmm. does. On the east side, you don't, you know, because of the road, because of the situation. But there you own to the center of the road. Okay. Well, other than safety issues, I think we all agree that now is a better time before they s start uh, working on the trail itself. We sure so, feel that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we all do. Because as I said, we got to put it back the way it was. We'd rather have it, you know, mm -hmm. take care of it now before you're out there exactly. putting the asphalt now. Or what are you bringing? It's hard surface, I suppose. They are, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. concrete, I suppose, you know. Okay. I don't have any other questions. Mm -hmm. I don't either. Is there any other concerns on this, or...? Nope. No. Do we want to wait uh, with action on it until you present to Marshalltown, or...? I certainly can do that, too. I, my wife is, is Lisa Hine with Iowa Natural Heritage Foundation. This has kind of been her baby, so I kind of have some inside information that way. You know, I guess her comment was that, uh, you know, if, if INHS still had it, they would certainly sign it and get it taken care of, you know, but that doesn't mean that you guys should do that, obviously. You're the, your own entity. If you want me to meet with the super committee, I can do that too. And we, can, but again, our thing is just we want to get it done so we're out of the way for you guys to start putting the trail down. That's the big thing, I guess. You're on that committee. <laughs> I, I, I just attend the meetings. I'm not on the committee. Yeah, do they know about this, though? Didn't we? Uh, they time? do know yeah. about it. And, I thought we and, did. And they had basically the same questions that we had, and, and uh, they were concerned with putting things back to the original. Okay. Uh, so most of those questions have been answered. Okay. I'll make the motion to... Uh, Take action on the utility easement uh, on the rail trail. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Has the city of Marshalltown itself been notified of this or just the rails? I, I believe just the. They should have gone back and presented it, but I can't promise that. Okay. I will say, the city, excuse me, the city of Marshall is well aware of the project. We've been working with them on the project, obviously. Okay. Yes. So they are well aware of the project. Okay. Any other discussion? 
Carried none. All in favor? Say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next is a change of status in conservation department. Looks like we have a change of status. Uh, Blake Harris for conservation. Looks like it is a hire. And Blake has taken Rob Allen's position. A second. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Hope he enjoys the new job. Yep. <laughs> I think you look forward looking forward to that. Any other discussion? Carry none. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, utility permits. I'm aware of any. And Daryl's not here for secondary roads. We'll meet with him later today. Um, go to other business. You're invited to participate in chocolate cake in our vault. We're celebrating the one year anniversary of my appointment. Can that tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> We're celebrating a day early. All right. But anyway, yes, you're invited to participate with chocolate cake. Chocolate cake in the vault. In the vault. <laughs> <laughs> We're celebrating your good decision. Mm. Oh. <laughs> in a vault. In the vault. In the vault. <laughs> any, any other business? Hearing none, I'll ask for adjournment. Second motion to adjourn. Second. So move and second in. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned. Thanks, folks. <laughs>